Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Etrian Odyssey Untold. Last episode, we finally managed to clear the 26th floor, the first floor of the final stratum. We got a lot of questing to do now. We're going to start with Awakening the Serpent because I do believe I have read that that is the quest that you need to do to lift the level cap for the first time. Where are we off to? All right. Which means we're off to Lost Shinjuku. All right, so I said elevator, and yet it has clearly marked something on our map besides the elevators, so we'll just go toward that. Hmm? 25th floor. A giant golden dragon. So, I'm a little baffled by this. Did did your ancestors, or I guess they weren't her ancestors, did your people, Ricky, make a machine to summon a dragon? I, <laughs> I'm confused <coughs> by the mechanism at play here. But, whatever story explanation, if any, there is for this is not really the point. Here's the point. That we have a new optional super boss to fight. The Storm Emperor. Well, I will absolutely do battle with this great beast. Let's do it from the exclamation mark. We want to show proper form, after all. So you're pretty cool looking, buddy. And, uh... Well, one of us is going down. Okay, so can we handle this guy? I think there's sort of three dragons that are all the most ferocious optional super bosses. And this is the first one. I think that to be the case. So, whew, I don't at all feel like we're guaranteed to win here, but we can only do our best. I just realized I triggered my own counterattack by using an ability that damaged myself. <laughs> I didn't know that I could do that. Alright, we're going to want to try to pierce its head, I think. Uh, Alright, and now go ahead and put up Defender. Simon's going to need to... Honestly, I kind of want to immunize. Which means that this turn, Arthur, you're actually going to toss out a Soma Prime. So that Simon can spend his turn doing something else. Ricky, you're going to prepare for dealing out a whole lot of damage. Go get it. You better thank me. Brutal. Yeah. Too bad we didn't get defense up before that happened. Keep trying to pierce its head. All right, better front guard, I think. And now we really need some salve. And we need to hurt this thing. Well, I mean, its hit points are going down at a non-negligible rate, so that's promising. All right, Ricky, show it your power. Not bad. That'll get even better once Ricochet is maxed out. Okay. Now I think that this thing is regularly going to use its uh, lightning attack. I don't know at what interval, but I'm getting nervous, so I'm going to put up another Volt Wall. And Ricky... Let's see, you might want to renew Forest Breach now. How about this? 
Okay, Frailty Curse has worn off. Oh, bad timing since I'm about to hit it with this, but... Say la vie. Hmm. Alright, Volt Wall again. Uh... Hmm. Really would love to put that Frailty Curse back on it, but I guess Salvas this turn. Well, no, 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 no. I changed my mind. Put the Frailty Curse on it. And Arthur, you're going to take a break to... Ugh, it's not going to heal much, is it? But go ahead and cure Simon this turn. Alright, and Ricky, get ready for some more super damage. 2,500, not bad. Well, that's not ideal in any way, shape, or form. Oh, geez. Uh, better put up Defender again. Ugh, Simon, can you do anything? Jeez, uh... The status effects are gonna be an issue. Ugh, I would... I really wanted a Medic Bullet to cure Simon, but that would be such a waste of this Ricochet. We better do the Ricochet. Did I have up Volt Wall? Kinda looks like I didn't. Oh, we're dead. We're definitely dead. I'll just go ahead and let us die. Wow, Rakuna, you really won't go down. Okay, finally. What? No, no, oh my god, Rakuna cannot be killed! By my shield. <laughs> How hilarious would it be if Rakuna somehow soloed this thing? Is the RNG broken? What is- okay, she finally died. That was crazy. I don't think that was unwinnable. I think we kind of just got unlucky. Let's try again. I do think we can win this fight. Might take a few tries. I th Did I not use Volt Wall? I kind of feel like maybe I didn't when I meant to. Because Volt Wall triggers at the start of the turn, right? It, that's guaranteed? I think so. Regardless, we definitely need that up in order to uh, survive that attack. We learned that much. If we fail again, I might actually rest Rakuna again and put a bunch of points into Volt Wall. Because <laughs> I think that may be really key to being able to win this fight. It would also be great if the RNG would work in our favor and we'd actually seal its head for a while. Oh, I was renewing Defender, wasn't I? I think that's what happened. Oh, that could be a real problem. A breath of life. Better not dodge. Well, it, do it dodged, as it turns out. Okay, front guard now. More salve. Let's see. Ice formula. And ricochet. Oh, that was bad. You need to stop missing there, Arthur. Man, that is going to be so much better once I've maxed out ricochet. Right now, it's... It could be better. It definitely could be better. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, hmm. Tell you what, if you are able to get your turn. Do I want her to throw a Medica 4 on Simon? I think maybe I do. So that Simon can fix the front line. 
Ricky, renew that forest breach. Oh my god, Simon cannot hit the broad side of a barn. Okay, do Volt Wall. I don't know if that's what's coming, but I'm just nervous about it. If he has a more predictable pattern, I need to learn it, that's for sure. I think learning it would be real key to this fight. That could have been worse. Well, we're slowly making progress. I do think we're at the level where the fight should be winnable. Jeez, quit missing so much. Okay, so we just got screwed the exact same way twice. The exact same way twice. Which was... What did I have Rakuna doing? When she refreshes Defender is when I actually need her to be Volt Walling. That seems completely predictable. The same exact thing happened twice. Twice in a row. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to try the fight one more time with this party configuration. This time I'm going to apply that knowledge. We'll see if we do better. And if we fail again, despite applying that knowledge, I'm going to rest some of my party members again and do a little reconfiguring of their skill points, because I don't think they're optimal for this particular fight. So I'll rejoin you for a third attempt at this guy. Alright, Storm Emperor, I don't know where you came from, what your deal was, or why we're fighting you, or much of anything, but this time you're going down. We have learned lessons from our failures. We always want Volt Wall up when he's going to do that lightning breath, otherwise it is fatal. The damage is insane. It would be great if that head pierce would ever work, but I swear those binding skills have such a crappy success rate, it's unreal. I almost wonder if Ricky's better off trying to seal its head. Oh! Hey, we actually sealed its head! That's fantastic. Jeez, I don't even know what to do then with uh, Dirge while we're waiting for delayed charge. Maybe bloody offense? Yeah, it seems like a good idea. We need more salve. Ugh, that was not great. By any means. Okay, his head is unbound already. It it doesn't last very long either. The usefulness is suspect, I think. Tell you what, you are going to throw out a Soma Prime. I never put up Immunize, did I? Let's see. I guess you'll front guard again. I actually need him to refresh the Frailty Curse. And she can refresh the Forest Breach. Here. Oh, you. All right, and now Delayed Charge should do, the Delayed Cross Charge combo should do its full damage. So Defender, we're going to want to refresh in another couple of turns. Meanwhile, I guess she could just toss out a Party Cure. I could throw an Immunize on us, that sounds useful. Well, it won't be that useful because before he uses Volt Wall, he's going to use that thing that takes all beneficial effects off of us, isn't he? 
because he's like that, the jerk. So I think I actually want Simon salving then. And Ricky, prepare for more damage bursting. What? No. How about this? Oh, that's a real disaster. So he's about to use his his big attack. I need Volt Wall. Oh boy, if Rakuna's feared, Volt Wall might fail, mightn't it? I think it might. Yeah, we may be screwed, because if her fear prevents her from doing it, then that's it for us. Okay, she got it off. Good. Alright, I'm learning your tricks. Only Dirge died. That's an improvement. Okay, the damage was pretty respectable. All right, we need to get Defender back up. We need Salve. I need Dirge back on his feet. You know what? Let's just get him back at full strength. That's why I brought all these boss fighting items. Uh, let's... Let's see. Let's get Forest Breach back on again. Could have been worse. Breath of life. Are you ready? Okay. Well, let's prepare the combo again. We've got him down to about half hit points. This seems doable, you know? It seems doable. Rakuna, this turn, you're going to toss a Theriaka A on Ricky. Simon needs to salve. You can Ice Formula, and Ricky probably can't do much right now. No. But she can Action Boost in preparation for doing some stuff next turn. I do love how I can proc my counterattack off of uh, off of damaging myself. I didn't realize that. That's awesome. That said, Simon, Simon, Simon. It is a problem when this happens. Honestly, this guy's aside from his lightning breath, it's the status effects he puts on us that are the biggest issue. Uh, just toss out a Soma Prime. Simon, I don't know if you're going to get the chance to do anything, but if you are, do... Uh, immunize doesn't really help because he removes our beneficial effects before he hits us with his lightning. So, renew the Frailty Curse. Ricky, Boost. do a boosted... action boosted, an action boosted squared ricochet. Oh, here it comes. Oh, okay. Well, we're totally screwed then. Wow, this guy. Wow, this guy. We are so screwed then. Ugh, this fight. What can I even do? Well, see if we can survive with a boosted Volt Wall, assuming that Rakuna acts. I really just kind of need you refreshing the line. Ricky, get Arthur back on his feet, I guess? I'm not feeling good about our chances. Alright, we're dead because Rakuna didn't act. Okay, what have we learned? A, I'm going to retool my character builds a bit. B, I need more status defense, and especially I need status defense on Rakuna. Because we're, we're just straight up dead if she can't act when Volt Wall's coming. So some lessons learned. I'm going to see about... Resting my characters and reallocating my skill points a bit again. Okay, so I have made some changes. I rested Rakuna. What is it? And what I did is I have uh, put tons of points into her Fire Volt and Ice Wall abilities at the expense of ditching her secondary healer status which honestly is kind of worthless unless I put tons of points into those at this point anyway, because her healing just has not kept up with our hit points. And I didn't put any points into Aegis either. And sacrificing those is what allowed me to put tons of points into her elemental guards, because I don't think we're going to stand a chance against some of these optional super bosses 
unless we can just straight up completely block the damage from those attacks. And I actually leveled up Volt Wall to the point where we absorb lightning damage. So it'll actually heal us when it uses that, as long as Raccoon is able to put the Volt Wall up at that time. The other character that I rested was Ricky, because I wasn't really sold on that action boost um, ricochet combo. I mean, sure, it increases her damage by 50% when I use a maxed out action boost, but it makes an already expensive combo even more expensive in terms of how much TP it uses. And it's kind of inflexible, because if you action boost, then on the next turn, if you don't use the ability that you were planning to use, in my case, typically Ricochet, then you just wasted it. You just flushed it down the toilet. Whereas if you're not relying on that, well, then I can just Ricochet whenever I want and not have to worry about it. And it's still going to be like five attacks because I maxed it out this time. Uh, and in exchange for not having put any points into Action Boost, and I also put a lot less points into uh, her double attack, her double strike, because at this point, it's not so much the random encounters that are the problem. It's the optional super bosses. And Double Strike isn't really for handling bosses. It's for random encounters. But again, it's the bosses that are the problem now. So I, I put hardly anything into that, just a single point. And that allowed me to max out Head Snipe, Arm Snipe, and nearly max out Leg Snipe. I'm really hoping that this greatly increases the success rate of her snipes so that I can seal some of the body parts on these optional super bosses with a higher degree of reliability. If not, then this was a complete waste of reallocating her skill points, but I'm hoping it'll work out that way. You also might notice if you're eagle-eyed that I do not have moss brooches equipped on most of my characters. I've replaced them with toxic gauges. Except on Arthur just because I only had four toxic gauges, and I can't afford a fifth one right now. Now that means their TP is going to be down a lot, but the Toxic Gauge, if you remember, has a very important property that we're going to want for this fight. Namely, Ailment Resist Triple Up. I couldn't find anything that was specifically fear resistant, but this Toxic Gauge, which makes us more resistant to every possible ailment, is hopefully going to be good enough to prevent my characters, especially Rakuna, from becoming afraid and therefore be more resistant to all the status effects this jerk likes to throw on us, etc, etc, so on and so forth. So, will this combination of changes that I've made be enough to allow us to win this time? Well, there's one way to find out, See you around. and I'll be joining you shortly for another shot at the Storm Emperor. Okay, here we go again. Let's see if fourth time is the charm. It's a monster. All right, Storm Emperor, I'm wise to your tricks. Show them what you can do, new and improved Rakuna. So we're not going to need immunize at this point, so I don't need to worry about trying to put that on my characters. Loser! <laughs> oh, that is just glorious. Alright, now let's make a concerted effort to try to seal his head. Put Defender on. I mean, not even really any reason for Immunize now, is there? So, yeah, just whack him. I'm gonna have Ricky alternate between trying to seal his head and using Ricochet. She'll just kind of... I think that I'm just going to have her do a pattern of Forest Breach, try to seal his head, ricochet, and then just repeat. Oh wow, it worked on the first try. Either I just got lucky, or it really is a much higher success rate now that it's maxed out. Well, I'll go ahead and do a bloody offense on the rear line. Rakuna can do a rear guard. Simon better heal Arthur. 
Man, Ricky, you're free to ricochet him now. Okay, so we're gonna have to get that off Dirge. Oh, his head's still sealed, so that's good. Rakuna just toss a uh, Theriaka B on him. Because I need Simon salving us. And alright, if we're gonna, just gonna do this pattern, Ricky, you need to Forest Breach again. Alright. Frailty Curse unfortunately wore off, but... Alright, Defender is still good. Let's see. So I guess you can front guard. I'd love to get the Frailty Curse back on him. But right now I need to salve again. Okay, his head is no longer sealed, so try to reseal it. Okay, we need to Volt Wall next turn. So Dirge is still having ailments get put on him like crazy. But it does seem that the overall level of getting ailments on us is decreasing, so that's great. Well, kind of, but it did hit both Dirge and Arthur, so... Huh. Well, Arthur doesn't have the, uh, the accessory on him, though, the Toxic Gauge. Uh, Arthur Theriaka yourself, if you can. Ricky, try to snipe his head again. Oh, that is so glorious. Okay, this is going pretty well, I would say. Better get Defender back up. All right, let's get all our buffs and debuffs going again. You're going down. All right, let's go back to trying to seal his head. Better salve. Oh, that's real bad. That's really, really, really bad. That's just terrible. Um, crap, 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 crap. So you need to Soma Prime. I guess you'd better guard the back line. You will... Nectar to Simon. Oh, jeez. Uh... Deal some damage, do a boosted ricochet. Okay, we're dead. Wow, we failed again. This is unreal. I mean, we're not recovering from this. There's no way. I know this is doable. I don't know if I'm getting unlucky or what. I feel like probably. Oh, we're definitely screwed, no question there. Um... I think I'm just going to do a montage of my attempts until I succeed. I'm just going to keep trying until I manage it. I'm stubborn, and I know that this is supposed to be doable at this point in the game. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on trying, but rather than showing the full thing of every single attempt, which would probably get dull, we're montaging it now.
Yes, we did it. We did it. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, I think the only major thing I did differently, and I honestly didn't even need to do a montage. I won on the next fight, uh, but I'm still probably going to accelerate it, maybe do some custom music. But uh, the only thing I really did differently there is I just really dedicated Ricky to trying to seal it. And I didn't just focus on sealing its head, I also had her seal its legs. Which she did successfully for a while, which actually shut down a lot of its nastiest attacks. So sealing its legs was really key, and then just having Rakuna put up that vault wall for when it was ready to use its lightning breath. And thanks to that, we won! We kicked its ass. Get wrecked, Storm Emperor. You got cold damned. Fantastic. What a gruesome battle. Oh, all right. Is that true? <laughs> uh... Arthur always got act cocky. Oh, fine. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur's a maiden. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really, I'm gonna choose that one. It's too, it's, it's too funny. <laughs> oh, this is too good. <laughs> okay, let's go back. That was too good. Yes! Yes! All right, level cap has been lifted. Oh, in that respect, that fight's not really optional. Because I don't think that you can complete all the post-game stuff if your level is frozen at 70. So I think you kind of have to do that fight if you want to do everything. Oh, well done to us. But I wasn't done fighting. Are you kidding me, Arthur? Okay, wow. That that is exciting. So I think I'm gonna wanna put the the moss brooches back on everybody. I think the toxic gauges are largely going to be boss battle equipment. The moss brooches are kind of necessary for long-term exploration, so we don't run out of TP. Um, I know I- oh right, I didn't have a moss brooch on her. Or, wait, I did, but I had a town medal on Arthur, that's right. Which, you know, I almost feel like maybe I should give that to Ricky. Just because she's so TP hungry with that ricochet. And again, it doesn't hurt to have it on the healer to make sure he doesn't run out of TP, so... Oh man, the feeling of triumph, of victory, it's so sweet. Hey Valerie, hey guess what we did? We killed the first of the true optional uh, super bosses. 100,000 N. Pretty good reward. Maybe. I'm, I'm a little confused about the whole thing. Okay, so we had been sealed away and we found the key. I guess I'll accept that as an explanation. Yes. All right. Oh, this is too good. And we can accept another quest now. Okay, so we have to curse an enemy. Do I have anybody or anything that can curse? I don't think I do. That sounds like a problem. Alright, she's just saying the same thing. Well, I'm counting on you. Alright, well. Whew. It's you. We're not done yet with this episode. Uh so 
My strength is thine. Oh, a mile away is good quality. Well done, this. Rosa. Yes, at once. Rare breeds. All right. Are satisfied. Well then. Okay, so going to see if we can complete another quest or two before we call it an episode. Though defeating the Storm Emperor was obviously the highlight. All right. We well, first thing we're going to do right. is recharge here at the at the spring. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to sell the thing that we got from defeating the dragon. And see if we can get some awesome new equipment. Oh well, we, uh, we've still got time. So, a couple of things I'm gonna do. One, let's see if any of these dumb ice mantises have respawned. And see if maybe we can uh, finally get an egg. Okay, they respawned down here. And finally, call that quest done. The hidden treasure quest. That would be pretty great. We should wreck these things pretty hard at this point. Are you kidding me, Arthur? After what we just destroyed. Are you serious? I love proc and counterattack off of damaging myself. You know, another ability that I might start putting points into is Spear Assist. The description of it is terrible. Gains element of skill that activates it. That is clear as mud. But what it does is you use this, and then if another of your party members hits an enemy with an element, then at the end of the turn, Dirge will do a spear attack that has that element on it. Again, the way it's described is clear as mud and can mean almost anything. But that is how it works, which means if I hit this guy with fire, Dirge should follow up with a fire attack. And go ahead and try to seal its arms. Oh wow! Boy, when you max out those snipe skills, the success rate really does go up. It's pretty nice. I'll go ahead and do a ricochet then. Show off for us. Pretty brutal. Did you drop an egg? Huh. Hey, what about this? Oh my god, this quest! Why? This quest is so awful, it's unreal. I, it would probably have a much higher success rate if I had maxed out Chop or something, but this is dumb. Huh, you know, I might as well not even bother with Delayed Charge. It doesn't survive long enough for it to matter. The fight's going so fast, I don't even really feel the need to skip it. It does not take me long to kill these things at this point. Yeah, that is pretty good follow damage, and that's a spear assist at a very low level. So, yeah, I think I definitely want to put points into that. It's better than I realized. I was just avoiding it because the description was so unclear. Again, my eternal complaint about this game, the ability descriptions are terrible. You're not wrong, Simon. You're not wrong. Give me an egg. This quest is freaking terrible, and then I get ambushed. Hey, it's a rare one. I 
think they're Volt vulnerable. Yeah. Get out of here. Hmm? Does that help? Okay. Well, that was a failure again. So, there was another quest we could do, though. Proof of heroism. Uh, which floor was that on, though? Um, crap, I don't remember. I think it was B16. It occurs to me, have I saved my triumph? There, I have now. Oh, we have to take the long way around to get to this, don't we? Oh, that's irritating. I'll join you down there. Okay, here we are. Alright, so previously this was just kind of marked as, hey, this will be a thing in the future. But now is the future, and we can get through. You know, this isn't another optional super boss, is it? Can we fight them back to back like that? I didn't think that was the case, but I've never done all this, so I don't know for sure. Oh, really? What do you think you're doing? Get out of here. Not firewall, front guard. That's what I wanted. There, now we don't have to mess with the Medusa tree. Already? Well, I guess I am carrying a lot of boss fighting stuff. Oh, good grief. Um... Jeez. Fine, we'll fight one. This was very foolish of you, Medusa Tree. What are you thinking? I don't think you're even going to live long enough to withstand the delayed charge. In fact, I know you're not, so I'm not going to bother with that. Instead, I'll hit you with uh, more Spear Assist. Uh, I guess put Defender on us. Sure. Boosted fire. Show it who's boss. You're going down. Here goes. Nice. Look at that. It's nearly dead already. It's ridiculous. I literally fight random encounters harder than you. Get out of here. Let's see, so I think it's basically like, it's mostly a straight line, like so, and then like this probably. Okay, fine. We'll kill another one. Get ready. Oh, this isn't looking good. We might have to fight two of them. You know what? Let's hit it with a boosted spear assist. Oh, 
Nice. What do you think you're doing? This is just silly. Oh, Ricky's petrified. Well, that's a pain. It's just our heads that are sealed. That's more of a problem on Simon, but not a big deal in general. It is a problem on Simon, though. Oh, well. Get out of here. I guess this is the lowest value stuff I'm carrying. Ugh, that inventory limit, it's what so it? low. Does that help? How's that? It's awesome. Yeah, you're not wrong, Arthur. What do these things think they're doing? What do they think they're going to accomplish with this foolishness? <laughs> Get out of here. Don't waste my time with those savage tusks. It's insulting. Stairs up, eh? Just how far does this go? Oh, wow. I knew there was more to the 15th floor. Looks like potentially a whole lot more. Tell you what, I don't want to do this massive exploration with my inventory full. So we're actually going to come back to this. Very interesting. Okay, didn't realize that quest opened up uh, another of these huge backtracking up to previous floors, but new areas in those floors kind of things. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's sell this stuff, which I should have done all along. Hello. I I didn't think that this would be a big quest. I thought it would be like in and out. I was wrong. Well, we don't use whips, so that's not that useful. Also, I can sell the Archibus. I realize that even though the Volt Gun is called that, it's not actually Volt Elemental. It's kind of silly. Alright, um... So, let's store a whole bunch of items. Yes, thine items. All right, we don't need to carry around the boss fighting stuff all the time. It takes up a lot of space. Didn't end up needing the spark mists. They are in my care. We'll uh, store the toxic gauges and the halo aspices. And uh, I mean, we should probably store all of this stuff. We don't need to carry it around all the time. They are in my care. Okay, there. That freed up some inventory space. So, we're going to call it an episode there, and next episode we're going to explore the 15th floor for real, I guess. Before it was just a little boss area, but uh, looks like we've unlocked a whole lot now. Oh, hold up. There's one more thing to do. I almost forgot. We need to level up. This will be what we do to end the episode. So like I was saying, I think I want to put some points into Spear Assist now. That and Bloodlust were the two things I was considering. But Bloodlust is not proccing all that often, even at level 6. So yeah, I think Spear Assist now. Raccoona. Do I want to just max out these other walls? Maybe I do, maybe I do. Yeah, let's go ahead. Simon. 
You know, I could rest Simon and put points into things besides Immunize, given that I'm basically relying on Rakuna for that instead. I don't know how valuable it is going to be to have stuff, to have all those points in Immunize. And boy, I could sure put a lot of points into other things if I don't have all those points in that. Hmm. I'll consider that. Arthur didn't gain a level. Ricky. Should I max out Leg Snipe? Leg Snipe turned out to be super useful in the fight against the uh, Storm Emperor, so you know what? I think that is going to be the play. One more level and we increase the, uh, the rate at which it succeeds. So that just brings us back to this question. I mean, Simon can do his job pretty well as is. But I could get him more hit points and put some points into these if I were to not have all this in Immunize. Hmm. I'll think about that and I'll let you know what I ended up doing in the next episode. So for now, I'm going to call it there. Wow, we made fantastic progress in this episode. Killing the Storm Emperor and raising the level cap was huge. And what a sense of accomplishment. Well then. So, next time I'll see you for exploration of the 15th floor. I'll see you then.